How's it going everyone? So as you can probably tell by the sun and all the birds, it is springtime. So that means we're gonna be doing a little bit of work on the skidoo here. We're gonna be changing out the chain case oil and we're going to be tightening the chain just to make sure that's all good for next season. I already filled up the gas tank. I didn't um, do the summarization process yet. I'll wait till I put it in its long-term storage location. But anyway, I kind of wanted to while I'm doing this, just give a little channel update and talk about how the winter went. First thing that I do is take this cover off. I think this year I did just over, right around 400 miles or so, which is about on par with last year. But it kind of felt like I didn't really ride as much as last year. So this winter, the snow didn't really start until the end of January. We didn't really start riding until the middle of February, which kind of sucks because we only really got one month of riding on this thing, but I still got a couple good videos out for you guys. I hope you at least check those out. And I'll have another one coming out this fall for you guys to see for the upcoming year because it's kind of not snowmobiling season anymore and I couldn't get to editing it fast enough. So I'm just gonna post that next year. I kind of like I was talking about, so the ice was actually fairly decent this winter. You'll notice I had quite a few ice fishing videos. So we did a ton of panfish fishing this winter. And I'll have two more videos that are actually going to come out in the fall slash winter. Um, we had a pretty good ice, I would say, throughout. Except Lake George, you know, it's always kind of sketchy. I didn't really get this thing out at all on the ice, but I didn't need to this year. The walking conditions were pretty good all around because we didn't have snow. So that's kind of one benefit to having two hobbies in the winter being ice fishing and snowmobiling. So this is the little bolt that you have to remove on the bottom, a little nut, I guess, bolt. Um, yeah, so you pull that out there. It's right underneath this. There's a spot you can pull that out and then all your chain case fluid will come out and then you can fill it back up. So this right here, kind of like see into there a little bit. That nice crusty old fluid. That's why you want to change your chain case oil. So I do this once a year at the end of the season, so I'm all ready to go for next season. So with that being said, channel update, let's continue that. Where am I going next? So springtime's coming, it's just about to be April. We're planning a bunch of fishing trips, it's gonna be at Lake George for a whole week this summer. So we'll do some fishing then for sure. Um, definitely some more Lake Champlain trolling, some Lake George bass fishing some Lake Ontario fishing uh, for some salmon. Definitely have a video coming out for that in probably the July time frame. Um, some creek fishing. What I'd like to know though is what do you guys like to see the best? I personally like to do trolling for lake trout and salmon the best. I love bass fishing though. I don't know, what do you guys like to see? What is your favorite type of video that I make in the summertime? Let me know down below. Okay, chain case oil is out. We're gonna fill it up now. You can see this rubber cap up on the top. I just pretty much shove a screwdriver behind there, gently pop it off. This is the uh, oil that I use. We're gonna go ahead and dump this in. So, a little trick, don't take the whole cap off. Just take that off, then you won't have to use a funnel. Okay, last and final step. You're gonna take your Skidoo multi-tool that they give you in that end. There's a, um, a pin here that is you want to leave in but there is a spot to insert this tool and you turn it to the right and we're just going to take any slop out of this chain you can check it over on the clutches over here if you move them back and forth you'll be able to see um if there's any slop in the chain this is a good thing to do because if your chain were to blow out it probably would not be a good day so you want to make sure it's nice and taut okay so it's right back and in over here I'd say it's about good. I did about a half a turn. Um, last season, I did a little bit more because that was my first time tightening it. This season, I didn't expect to do much and I didn't. So, as you can see, just like that, we are all wrapped up. A little sad, a little bittersweet. Um, would have liked to snow me a little bit more, but it is what it is. There's always next year. Pretty excited and looking forward to spring and summer. This winter was kind of on and off between cold and hot, so 
Um, I think it'll just be nice to have some nice warm weather and relax. So it's kind of why I want to have this channel update right now. Uh, the summer, even though I say I want to relax, it gets pretty busy, like just doing things with friends and family and then trying to make videos. So this is kind of a good time for me to just tell you guys what's going on with the channel and what to expect in the coming months. So the coming months, like I said before, we're gonna have tons of videos coming out for all kinds of fishing stuff. And I really wanna hear what you guys would like to see. And like, obviously we do a lot of trolling and I got that new GoPro up top now, looking down at our rods. We do a lot of trolling with downriggers and dipsy divers. One of the things that I kind of started doing last year that I used to do a ton as a kid, but I just kind of lost touch with it since we got boats and things like that was canoe fishing. So Addison and I have been going out and doing that. Definitely plan to do some more of that. I was trying to think of a few creeks I could go down, canoe, trout fish, smallmouth bass fish, things like that. So we'll see, maybe something to come with those. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this little channel update. So one other quick thing I wanted to do is play a few of my favorite clips from this winter. We had a bunch of snowmobiling, a bunch of ice fishing. So I'm gonna play you guys my three favorite clips from this winter. Let me know if you have different favorite clips. And then I'm gonna play you a couple clips from videos that I filmed this winter, but you guys will see next winter. Specifically, some fishing for some really big perch. So we got my dad and I kind of stumbled upon a really good perch bite. Um, snow milling up in the Adirondacks. And then another fishing video where my dad and I, again, stumbled across a really good sunfish bite. We had a couple videos where we did some sunfish fishing, but yeah, this is another one where we caught some really good sized sunfish on a lot of them. So yeah, so let me know if you guys liked those clips and or if you have different favorites from the season. That guy out. Monster, monster pumpkin seed. You gotta check this. Pretty big, pretty big. I see more fish down there right now. So go ahead, we'll dunk him back. Hmm. Another pumpkin seed on. Oh man, you can see him coming up. There he comes, look at him coming. I like just watching him come up the hole. Look at this fish that my dad just caught. That's absolutely incredible. We kind of just stumbled across the spot and have been slamming some perch. Perch selfie right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to browse all my ch my videos and uh don't forget to subscribe i really appreciate the comments especially i really love seeing comments on the videos likes always and if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button hit the little bell for notifications it goes a long way it really uh makes me want to continue making the content when I see some comments, see some subscribers. It lets me have some engagement with you guys. It lets me know if you guys are liking the content, if you'd like to see other things. Anyway, uh, yeah, look forward to some more spring videos coming up. I appreciate it as always and take care and have a great day.